Welcome. We are now ready to take another step. Today's step is to examine rhythm and to do some rhythmic things. I describe rhythm as dancing in time. And that dance involves a pulse, kind of like your heartbeat. And it is regular. And if we think of dancing and music, we realize that it's going to involve the feet. And there's two parts of the beat that we're going to examine today. That there is a down beat when our foot touches the ground and an up beat when our foot is in the air. Let's examine this piece of music I'm going to play for you. And you'll notice my foot touching the ground and up in the air. And you'll notice the music will complement that as well. you to tap your foot with me. I'm going to play some music. We'll use just the right foot. There are two parts of the beat. Down, up. And we'll just say the words down, up, and we'll move our foot down, up. Okay, ready? Down, up, down, up, down, up. Keep going. Excellent. So the movement down and up and back to down is one full beat. We have a way of notating that, a quarter note most commonly, that will receive one beat. If I was just playing a string on the guitar and moving my foot, up, down, up, down. Those would be quarter notes, and they're lasting one full beat. Now, if we have a half note, we would allow that note to ring for two beats. So participate with me. We'll clap. You can clap, or you could play it on your on the first string of your guitar. Ready? I'll give a down up as a prep. Down, up. difference is that the half note is notated as you'll be able to see with it not colored in. I'd like now for us to try doing a quarter note, quarter note, and a half note. So the, the quarter notes will get one beat each and the half note will get two. Okay, ready? Down, up, last rhythm that we're going to focus on, which is the most exciting one, is the eighth notes. And for that, our, feet, our foot will still be going down and up, but we'll be playing on every part of that. An eighth note will have a head, a stem, and a little flag. Sometimes when they're grouped in twos, you'll see a beam connect them. Okay, so this time we're going to have uh, four eighth notes and a half note that lasts the same amount of time as the two quarter notes and a half note. So we'll be tapping down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down. Okay, and you'll get two beats on the half note. Okay, let's practice it. 
ready one preparation beat down up You can do this on guitar by strumming the top three strings, just open, and if we have quarter notes, they'll be down, down strokes. If they're eighth notes, you may find it easier to do down and, and up, just hit one string on the way up. If that's too much difficulty at this point, you could clap the rhythm as well. Okay, but let's try it. So first off, we have two rhythms. The first one will be two quarter notes and a half note. That's the one we did. Down, 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 down. Quarter notes, quarter notes, half note, two beats. Okay. Rhythm two will be down, up, down, up, down. Rhythm two, down, up, down, up. Down. Let's try it with the guitar. Down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, down, up, down. Okay, so rhythm one. Now we get a chance to apply the rhythms, two quarter notes and a half note, to strumming. Okay, so we'll take our right arm, get all set up, head of the guitar about eye level, put our thumb on the fourth string, that's four strings from the top, one, two, three, four, and with the index finger we're going to flick the finger out and strum three strings. And this we'll call E minor. If you put your hand in first position the, with the second finger behind fret 2 and the fourth finger behind fret 3, not the third finger but the pinky, we're going to do two other chords. One with the second finger down on fret 2 and strum. That's going to be a G major 7th chord. And this chord here with the fourth finger down and you can leave the second as well, is a G chord. So the progression will go E minor, all open strings, second finger, and then add the fourth finger for the G chord. So you have E minor, G major seven, and G chord. Okay, we get our foot aligned with this, so we do the rhythm as well. Ready? Okay, here we go. Down, up, and strum. E minor, E minor, G major 7, two beats on that one, G major 7, and G chord, fourth finger, two beats on that. Let's repeat that. Second line, E minor, G major 7, two beats, and this is going to go the second last measure, it's going to go G, G major 7, and E. Ready? Let's try that. G, G major 7, and E. From 
the very beginning. Down, up, down. Begin, E minor, E minor, G major seventh, hold for two beats. Then add the fourth finger G. Good, E minor, G major seventh. Now it's going to G, G major seventh, E. Excellent. Very good. So rhythm is a wonderful thing to, to get started with, and a lot of times we use, when we talk about rhythm guitar, it's chords and strumming. So uh, today we got our first chance to be able to try that out, and I hope that uh, that will be uh, a fun activity. The, there's a song to, to end with called Harmonious Trio. Was, we just did the chords for Harmonious Trio. If you have someone else who can is learning guitar with you, you can add the melody to the song. The melody is in seventh position, and it's going to cover strings one, two, and three. So this may take a little bit more work uh, because the rhythm on this is a little more complicated. It involves eighth notes. Okay, so we're going to attempt to do uh, rhythm with a melody as part of harmonious trio. We're in seventh position. We have a series of notes that we'll do for each string. One will have the first finger on in the first string seventh fret. So we're in seventh position. This is on the seventh fret, eighth fret, ninth fret, and tenth fret. We put our first finger down, which we strike that. That's one of the notes we'll be using. On the second string, we have two fingers that we'll use. The note here with the second finger and the note here with the fourth finger. Yep. And we will even get to the third string, which will involve the first finger and the third finger. Okay, so in the beginning, the first two sets of measures will have the rhythm go down, up, down, up, down. That's four eighth notes and one half note. Yes. So we did this rhythm just a moment ago. Down, up, down, up, down. Now we're going to have the fingers put, finger the notes one, four, two, two, four. One, four, two, two, four. And if we play that with the thumb or with the fingers, it'll sound like this. I'll do it again. And that's two measures of each getting two beats. The next two measures will go four, two, on the second string, four, two, then three, one, and then two. Four, two, three, one, two. Try it with me. Four, two, three, one, two. Four, two, three, one, two. And now we'll try it with playing it. So from the very beginning, one, four, two, two, four. And the next one, four, two, three, one, two. Second string. Excellent. I'll do that one more time. And I'll add some chords in the background. So you're just doing the melody. Ready? And down, up.
excellent. There's another four bars. And the first measure of those next four bars is exactly the same as what we just did. And the ending is going to go four, two, three, one, three. Okay, from the very beginning, down, up. Two, three, one, two. One, four, two, two, four. Four, two, three, one, three. Excellent. So for step two, our focus today was getting comfortable with the pulse and that pulse that beat has got two parts down and up a full beat down and up half a beat either down to up or up to down yes so a full beat we called a quarter note half a beat were two eighth notes and two beats was a half note. Thus concludes step two. This week, try to spend time each day, about 30 minutes, with your instrument. The most important part of the first steps is establishing a foundational skills with the left hand position and control of the fingers. And today, also trying to coordinate it with the movement of our foot to feel the proper distance between tones. Okay, best wishes on your practice.